Welcome back to the Eternal Studios Quick and Dirty Photoshop Spot Color Separations videos. Uh, this is video number three. In our first two videos we did uh, a black film, how to do a black film, and how to do an under base. This, uh, this video is going to use those two previous files as long as the, uh, the original also. And uh, start building a DCS multi-channel file and get you a highlight white in the, in the same process here. Um, basically a DCS is a real simplified file here. Um, all it is is using just your channels and uh, and uh, multiplying them, making a, a lot of them stack on top of each other, specifically spot colors and um, alpha channels. Uh, but basically we're just going to use this for, for spot colors and uh, we're not going to really have to save any of these anymore so we're just going to do a command A, we're going to cut it out Command X, Control X. Uh, we're going to change the mode here to your multi channel mode. Once you're in your multi channel mode, nothing looks like it really changes, but uh, when you paste, you're pasting directly into channels now. Uh, once you paste this black, it looks exactly like it used to, although it's a little different in that uh, you're not pasting into layers anymore. You're going to make sure that your black is 100% all the way to the black. You want to make sure your solidity is always 100%. And you're going to want to make sure you always name this something correct so that, that your printer knows exactly what colors they're printing or what, what inks they're doing. And uh, once you do that, then you're just going to want to come to your underbase that you already have here. Cut it out, close it. You don't really need that anymore. Add a new new channel here paste it in. It'll always register up it's the same size since we're always duplicating a file and working on the the same the same scale, same size, 100%. Uh, you don't have to worry about doing a new and making sure it matches up. Just paste it right in here. It works beautifully. It's it's fast. Uh, you just want to remake sure everything's named co correctly. We'll just name this under base white. You can use a gray, light gray. Do however, however you like. Get some interesting results. Make sure it's a spot color and we'll also crank it to white. Sometimes you'd like to leave it pink to see where it's coming through on the finished product. Uh, if you see pink on your finished image when it's fully sept you'll know that you missed something. You missed a little spot that, that snuck through and you have to go back there. Um, crank this up to 100. You can crank it down a little since under base is somewhat transparent. It'll just really be for previewing purposes only. And uh, there you got it. You got it real quick. You got a multi-channel. This will be your SEP file. You will put all of your channels in here and, and that's good to go. You want to make sure you save it and you want to make sure that you mark it something different as a as your SEP. It will save as an EPS even though it's a DCS 2.0. It's just going to say dot 2.0. A lot of times we like to just uh, market so we know that it is a DCS and not some other vector EPS or something like that. It gets a little confusing sometimes. Um, make sure it's checked spot colors. Uh, sometimes it'll check as a copy if you have an alpha channel in there. Like uh, a lot of times for previewing purpose, I'll show you later, we can put a, an alpha of a shirt color and it'll show you exactly how this will look once it prints on a shirt. Um, but if it's not checked, you know it's just spot colors, you can save it as it is. You're going to want to go and up your preview to a TIFF uh, and you're also going to want to change to a single file with a color comp of, of a 72 DPI um, just because it makes it really easier to line up once you place it into your InDesign or to your Illustrator. You want to include your halftone screen, you want to include your transfer function. Encoding can say the same. This is basically to make sure you keep all of your information in your DCS. It'll make it a little bigger, but if your printer, his rip isn't up to speed or it's older, it might uh, he might have to override some of his preferred uh, lines per inch and things like that. Click OK. It'll save, and you're good to go. That's your file. That's your sepping file. Now you can always keep that open and just continue to build on it. is make this your highlight white. Highlight white is fairly easy. It's like the other ones. Um, there's some tweaking involved, but basically all you're going to want to do is take your, your layered image, flatten it. You're going to want to go to your channels, 
and you want to split your channels. Split them up. Boom, boom, boom. And you're going to want to probably take... Sometimes it, you get a better result on some of the other channels, but blue usually always works well. This is obviously way too much information for a white ink. This is close. It might work, but we're just going to go for, for the blue. Um, and make sure the mode is grayscaled. And then basically all you do, take your curves. You're going to want to black out what you want to black out. And it'll leave you with a nice little highlight. And then it's set. Select all. Chop it out of there. Go to your new multi-channel. Add it on the top. Make sure you got it named right. Highlight, spot color, make sure it's white, 100%, and make sure it's inverted. So now we can do a save on our, our file here, and then we can also add a new layer and put it to the bottom. All the way to the bottom, we'll make a nice little shirt color, in this case the shirt's pink. Make sure the underbase is first, I always like to put the black last, get rid of the underbase, that'll show you exactly how the highlight sits and how the black sits. And there you have it. Three colors done, three more to go, real fast, uh, pretty simple and very accurate. Stay tuned, later.